Welcome to the Forward Stride Analysis brought to you by Laura Stam Power Skating, where we're going to be taking a detailed look at the forward stride and showing you all the techniques involved. Now the first thing I'd like to point out is the knee bend and how low the player is to the ice. If you draw an angle of the knee bend from the thigh to the shin, the player should be skating at at least a 90 degree knee bend. Here the player is a little bit lower, which is good, but if you want to get long strides, you have to have that knee bend. So let's take a look at the stride. What we've done is we've drawn a straight line from the hip to the toe, and this shows that the player is getting full extension. You want to be able to get the maximum stride length possible, so you have to have that deep knee bend, and you have to have that long stride pushed all the way out to the very end. And an interesting thing is, if we extend that line up, you can see that there's a straight line from the head to the toe. And that's basically showing you that the player is not leaning forward when they're doing this. You've got a straight line there. Now, one other thing to look at is if we're looking at this full extension on a different stride, keep an eye on that circle. What that's showing is the return. And if we frame forward, you can see that at the end of the push, the player's bringing both of their feet inside that circle before they start their next push. So they're essentially starting their push at the very beginning with their feet together, getting that full extension stride and then they're bringing their feet all the way back to together. So you're getting the very beginning, the very end, and the very beginning. Now let's take a look at this, uh, this return on another angle. So you've got the player skating forward and watch their heels come together at the end of their stride. Now if we pause it, this is an interesting position. This is what we call the V-diamond. And the reason we call it the V-diamond position is it is at the beginning and the end of every push. So you're starting with your feet together, and if you draw the skates in, you can see that the feet make a V. And then if you draw in the legs with the knee bend, you can see that the legs make a diamond shape, and that's why we call it the V diamond. Now if we take a look at it from behind, this is an interesting thing about the V diamond and the return. This is where you're watching the heels. A good way to make sure players get a full return is while they're practicing, have them touch their heels together. Ideally what you want to have is you want to have your skates come so close together that they're within an inch apart as you can see in the player right here. And a good way to do that is practice having your players touch their heels together. Then in a game when they're not thinking about it, hopefully their feet will come back a lot closer together and they might even be within that inch, especially if you practice building up that muscle memory a lot during practice. So if we frame forward here, you can see the stride and again we have full extension. Now an interesting thing about this full extension is the direction the toe is pointed. What you want to do is you want to make sure at the end of your push your leg is locked in that full extension but you also want to make sure that your toe is pointed to the side. And we draw this in right here. You have to make sure your toe is pointed to the side. A common mistake is players will point their toe down in a walking running motion. And what happens there is if you point your toe down, you're slipping. You lose that inside edge and you push right off of the flat part of the blade. And if we show you the front angle again, you can see that uh, we've drawn the full extension, but we've also drawn a kink in the line. And this is making sure that you get your toe pointed to the side. And once you do get your toe pointed to the side, you want to use that inside edge of the toe, dig it into the ice, and flick it to the outside so you can get that toe flick. And the toe flick is the last part of the push, and it's also one of the most powerful parts of your push. So let's take a look at the arm swing. And to do this, we'll show you another clip. And just watch how the player's getting full extension on their stride, but they're also swinging that arm through the full range of motion. If we watch that again, the way the arm swing works is it builds up momentum within your body. It's like getting your full body working on the push. If you're standing still and you swing your arms, yeah, you're not going to move forward or backward, but what you will notice is your feet start moving automatically by themselves. So that's how the arm swing works, is it's a way of getting your arms and your legs to work together on that push. So if we show you the arm swing again, what we've done is we've drawn circles around the hands, and this is showing you that the arm swing does not go side to side. It's a forward-backward arm swing. The way you do that is you want to have your palms aimed upward as we're skating, 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line representing the center of your body. Now, if you do the arm swing properly, you can see that the hands come up to that line, but they never cross that line. As soon as you cross that line, now all of a sudden you're doing a side-to-side -side arm swing. And uh, another important thing about arm swing is when to do it in a game. Most of the time in a game, you're going to have two hands on the stick. If you're passing, shooting, or stopping, or turning, usually you have two hands on the stick. But this is for those brief moments in a game when you're going for maximum speed. If no one's around you, you're on a breakaway, and you need to build speed so no one catches you, that's when you go one hand on a stick and get that arm swing. So this is a drill to help you with the forward stride. This is called the drag touch drill. First thing to point out is the player starting out in an incredibly deep knee bend. This is just a way of practicing knee bend before the drill starts. So here's the drill. You're dragging the inside edge of the toe and touching your heels together. Notice the player is holding their leg at full extension, making sure you get the end of the push, dragging that inside edge of the toe, leg locked, and then they're touching their heels together after the push. So let's take a look at the forward stride one more time. Thank you, and for more information, visit lorastam.net.